Oh yes, welcome. I am Saint Germain. We welcome you all. <sighs> We're bringing through uh, frequencies for the heart chakra uh, today uh, in this video. This is a uh, transmutation of fear back to love uh, uh, within the heart chakra area. We would say uh, there are many emotions that affect the heart chakra. Uh, many of you are sensing a deep loneliness. Uh, Saint Germain, why is this journey so uh, difficult? Why is this journey so alone? Why, if I am awakening to remembering that I am all that is, that I am connected to everything, Everything and that nothing is separate. Why do I feel this deep separation? Why do I feel so alone? I am not understanding. And we would say that it is the um, going to the deepest darkness is uh, 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 to the deepest loneliness is um, the, the joy of the spirit uh, journey. Uh, you already know what it is to be all that is. You already know the end result. You already know uh, what it feels like to be conscious. So you already know what it feels like to be um, not separated. You already know what it feels like to be all that is. It is only that you are remembering. It, it, you have uh, an illusion of the egoic um, game of um, that you forgot what it is like to be uh, one with all, you see. It is the fun of the game to go to the polarity of that. What with uh, the deepest uh, polarity of uh, uh, of that look like? Ah, would this not be a deep sense of loneliness? Ah, is this not a beautiful game uh, when you can see the polarity of what you are? How do you know what you are if you have nothing to compare it to? Ah, it is a game and we would say you are playing the game of contrast and the game of polarities. When you are experiencing the deepest loneliness, uh, you will then uh, realize the polarity of that in love. This is the game. Ah, how do I know what I am if I have nothing to compare it to? We would say that all of you are awakening, but you are awakening at uh, different rates. You are awakening to remembering who you are as conscious beings, and you are uh, awakening at different rates so that you can see what uh, a world around you uh, would look like um, if everyone was asleep. What would it look like to experience the deepest loneliness? What would it look like if I had the illusion that I was alone. Ah, we would say that all of you will be experiencing this deep loneliness. It is even uh, those who have partners that are awakening together, it will be at different rates. Your uh, partner or your loved one that would be... Um, Awakening also would not uh, be in the exact vibration that you are on your journey and therefore it would always feel alone, you see. Ah, I have never fit in Saint Germain. Everywhere I go, I have not fit in. And we would say that most of you have um, felt this deep loneliness since childhood. Um, those that are watching this video have, uh, um, many of you uh, were in the first wave of people to awaken on planet Earth. This is the first wave of remembering who you are as conscious beings. When you came to planet Earth, you were not matching the vibration of uh, those around you as you were um, carrying a frequency that would be uh, 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 of, um, we would say, ah. Um, hmm. oh. A frequency of love that you were uh, integrating onto the planet. You were... Um, mm. You were coming onto the planet with um, uh, 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 to um, we would say plant your uh, seed of love into uh, humanity at this time. You were bringing in a frequency that yet had not existed on planet Earth. Uh, when you came to planet Earth and you uh, did not feel like you fit in, it was because uh, no one around you matched this frequency. We are showing Tara that as children, most of you that are watching these videos sat in a classroom full 
full of people, yet you did not feel uh, included. You did not feel like you fit in. You felt different and you did not know why. We would say it was because you were anchoring this frequency of light uh, 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 to those around you. You were anchoring this light uh, while you were standing in your shoes and those around you could uh, uh, receive the light and uh, begin to integrate it within themselves or they could stay in the third dimension perspective and uh, uh, wallow in their self-pity. It was up to them whether they wanted to uh, integrate this frequency uh, uh, um, or uh, to continue playing the third dimension game. There is no right or wrong or good or bad. Uh, it is uh, only uh, uh, where would you like to play on planet Earth? You were anchoring this light to help uh, uh, humanity expand uh, their con its consciousness. Uh, um, this was uh, light was brought onto the planet uh, so Mother Earth could uh, receive and also um, all your um, fellow humans uh, could receive uh, if they wish to integrate these frequencies. Um, we would say that um, those uh, of you who uh, felt so alone in the classroom are now reconnecting, uh, 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 beginning to reconnect uh, with others that uh, would be a similar match to this frequency so that you would have um, a, a meeting up with your soul family. We would say your uh, biological families were um, there to uh, trigger those uh, uh, emotions in you, within you, that you had not yet transmuted back to love. This was a beautiful gift to be born into a family where no one understood you. This was a beautiful gift to be born into a, a family uh, 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 that you were um, there to assist uh, 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 by changing the frequencies back to love around you. We would say this would be in an equal uh, dimensional, um, we are showing Tara a, a grid. We would be set into a grid uh, uh, on planet Earth that would be... Um, when you anchor this light of your consciousness onto planet Earth, those around you would receive it within a radius, a, a, a mile. Mm. We're showing Tara it would be a measurement. It, it was a measurement of uh, a frequency that you would be... Um, bringing on to planet Earth. This would be uh, expanding out into the community. We will not give exact measurements as this would um, take more uh, time to explain and we are um, uh, not wanting you to focus on um, so much on minor details but rather than the, the larger impact that you would have on planet Earth by anchoring this frequency for others. Was this not a beautiful gift that your spirit signed up uh, to bring and anchor this frequency on earth. As you anchored this frequency, those around you received uh, this love and began to integrate it within themselves. This is the awakening. This is remembering and the expansion of consciousness that you uh, began uh, as children on planet earth. Yes, ah, you were born into a very dense time on planet earth, a very fear-based um, time on planet earth. We would say that uh, as you anchor your light, uh, those around you that were uh, vibrating in the um, in this fear-based energy did not understand your light, and therefore they attacked your light. This was not personal. It was their their ego uh, told them to um, uh, not. Um, that your ego told them to put out your light, we would say. It was like you were a lit candle and uh, 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 there would be someone blowing out the candle at all times. We would say that it was not possible to blow out your candle. Ah, you continued to carry the light, but you lowered your vi vibration uh, of frequency to match theirs to please them uh, so that you could feel love because you too were also in the game of the ego. It is now time to uh, 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 stop pleasing others and go in and keep your light, uh, your, um, your candle lit. Uh, we would say keep it burning brightly, uh, start the fire. It is time to uh, never let anyone, anyone put out your flame. This is a beautiful gift that you are now not lowering your vibration to match others to please them. You are staying in a high vibration of love and expanding your consciousness. Nothing can knock you down. Nothing can put out your light. Nothing can put out the fire, you see. You are, mm, we would say... 
all coming together. There are many of you that are doing this in groups and there are many of you that are doing it alone, but you are not um, allowing others to, uh, we would say, take your power from your heart. This was not would not be an egoic power. This is you speaking from your heart. When you're speaking from your heart and you keep your vibration in that of love, uh, others around you cannot put out your fire. It is when you lower your vibration to match theirs to please them that uh, this would make you small. We would say ground yourself, pull in your consciousness and expand it out and then walk into a ro room knowing that you are already loved, you see, you are consciousness. When you walk into the room, walk in with confidence, walk in knowing that you are already loved and you will see that reflecting back to you. Ah, it is time to uh, not make yourself small but instead expand out to make yourself big. There is nothing that can harm you on planet Earth. It is an illusion that um, hmm, others' energies would hurt you. You are consciousness. You are them. They are you. There is no uh, separation. How could one hurt you if you are them, if you are that energy? Uh, we would say pull your consciousness in, expand it out, and know that uh, command what you allow in your reality. I will um, allow my love to go out, but I will not allow others uh, to um, make me feel small or to uh, hurt my feelings. If I love myself enough, uh, how could they hurt my feelings? Ah, they could not hurt my feelings if I did not need to seek love outside myself. Ah, isn't this beautiful if I no longer have to seek love outside of myself because I am finding it within. Ah, this is a beautiful day and this is a beautiful gift and I will walk into a room and know that I am love and I will expand that out and I will not worry about how other people react to this. Ah, if uh, someone is um, reacting, it is because their ego is telling them uh, that uh, uh, not to receive my light. Uh, I will not let this affect me. Hmm, isn't this a beautiful game? We would say that all of you are stepping into your power. This is a power from the heart, not the head. This is not an egoic power we speak of. This is a power from the heart. It is that you are no longer making yourself small. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful uh, a gift uh, for you all uh, that it is time to anchor your light uh, with um, stance and uh, steadiness. We would say you are strong like trees. Put your roots down into the earth and uh, expand your arms out, expand your energy out. This is, um, mm, it, it, this is your time. We would say that uh, all of you would go through the process of uh, integrating uh, fear-based energies within the heart chakra back to love. And uh, through this, there will be a release of energies. This would be uh, that you would feel... Mm, a release in ways uh, in that area. This could be um, coughing, uh, uh, crying, uh, lung uh, uh, congestion, uh, 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 back aches. There are many of you that are getting pains between your shoulders and into the spine area of um, the thoracic spine. We would say that this would be the heart chakra activating and transmuting frequencies of uh, fear back to love. We would say that um, there are many emotions that affect the the heart chakra as you are all aware we would say anger hate and rage and grief and sadness and depression are all in this area um, when you feel angry uh, we would say to love it to love the one who is angry transmute it back to love we would say that uh, many of you are going to be experiencing mm, uh, triggers that would uh, uh, bring up old um, memories from past lifetimes or old emotions from past lifetimes you do not need to remember it. It is not necessary. You have already lived these lifetimes. Uh, it is uh, that you are bringing up the emotion to be loved. When you feel this come up, it might be in a situation that normally does not make you angry or make you um, sad. We would say uh, it would be a release from a soul perspective. Yeah, you will not be able to stop this release. It will come up as mm, maybe a, a, a sad sadness or a grief, allow yourself to cry, it would come in spurts. Um, it, it is not necessary to know why. Uh, many of you are asking why, why am I feeling stuff in this area? And we would say that um, 
all of you are expanding your consciousness and it uh, the physical body's consciousness must um, release this uh, through the physical body because that is the form you have chosen to play in you see on planet earth you are in a human form and it is uh, that it is made up of energy and each um, each of your bodies your mental body your emotional body your spiritual body and your physical body um, would have um, energy frequencies that uh, would be going through uh, 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 an awakening process they're all transmuting fear back to love and uh, there is nothing you need to do or nothing you need to know it is um, that your uh, spirit would know what it is doing uh, we would say play more get into a vibration of joy and uh, 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 love yourself it is time to go in and love the one who is sad and love the one who is angry ah uh, we would say connect with your inner child there are many articles on uh, inner child work this is gonna connect you to your heart uh, uh, we would say we recommend this this is all a recommendation it is you remembering who you are as conscious beings and uh, going into um, connect with uh, uh, your heart it is that your heart is your um, Ah, within the heart is the uh, 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 conscious um, love that you seek outside of yourself. You are all seeking love outside of yourself. And when you go in, you will see that it was never outside of yourself. Ah, who am I needing to love outside of myself? Do I need my children to love me? Do I need my husband to love me? Do I need my mother to love me? Uh, when you are uh, having an awareness that you are seeking others' love outside of yourself, Ah, uh, this is a, a, an excellent uh, uh, thing. This is an excellent uh, awareness. Oh, I am seeking love outside of myself for my children. Ah, this is um, an area where um, I would ask myself, why is it that I seek outside of myself for love? Why is it I need them to love me? Mm, this is a, a good question. We would say, uh, uh, tune in and ask why you are seeking it outside of yourself. When you um, go in, and find it within yourself you will uh, feel the divine love that which we speak of ah this is that you have never been separated from anything and that is all been within you ah, we are excited for your journey and we are bringing through frequencies today um, to assist you in transmuting uh, fear back to love within the heart chakra as you watch these videos, there will be layers. Uh, each uh, um, layer, as the your physical body integrates these frequencies, uh, um, the next time you watch it, it would be another layer uh, uh, would be transmuted. We had uh, had Tara post a video uh, explaining that it takes about seven days to integrate the frequencies that we are bringing through uh, these videos. Ah, blessings. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh.